Howdy ho, Maplers, and welcome to a place you probably didn't expect to see me. <laughs> Cernium and Burning Cernium have been released, and my buddy Graham was gracious enough to lend me his character to go through these maps, give a first look and an overview on what is quite possibly one of the larger Game Changer updates, because for anyone going towards Endgame, these are the areas you're probably going to be spending the most time in. So, without further ado, we've got a lot of maps to hop through. The prequests for these areas are quite long, even holding down the spacebar is about two hours, but oh boy, it's well worth it. And just like Reverse City, right off the bat, your very first map is actually really, really good. Small, compact, the only downside this map has is the mobs are so low leveled compared to the higher end areas, and the mobs are kind of small, but it is very, very small, and uh, any class that likes a CLP type area is going to enjoy this map. These mobs aren't the hardest in the, in the areas to kill because they are, again, in the very first area, but they are very plentiful and very compact. These maps early on are kind of a dime a dozen for being good. There's really only a handful on these Rocky Overlooks map, but Rocky Overlooked 1 is a very good one. Right into Rocky Overlook 2, this is much more of an Asphera style map, but it's just a little bit too tall for my liking. If they cut out those like top three right platforms, you could probably make a case for this being a very suitable place to train in. But for me, for Frenzied Spawn, not looking at that one too much. Maybe for Kishin Spawn, maybe for Wild Totem, but Frenzied Spawn, it's pretty much a no-go. And then you got Rocky Overlook 3. This is more than likely going to be your go-to for Kishin and Frenzied Spawn. It has perfect platform layout. You can just flash jump through and double plat, then rope lift up, flash jump through, double plat. Any class that wants to train like this, an Adele, an Angelic Burster, what have you, is going to love this class on Kishin or Fury Totem Spawn. Just uh, make sure your mobbing skills are large enough that they can tag these small, these small little mobs. That's one of the one of the minor things about these early areas is like these mobs are quite small. Like classes without really big AOEs on their hitbox are gonna kind of struggle to hit anything. And then you got the Outlooks 4. Not a great looking map compared to the other ones, but it is an option if everything fills up. But these early areas are probably not where most people are going to be. Those areas are more so for the people who are just getting to 260, who are looking to move up into Cernium from Limina just to get an EXP bonus. But they are good alternatives if everything else fills up. And then you head out towards the Western Ramparts. And this is where, this is where a lot of people will be. Cernium Western City Ramparts 1. Until people start getting the, the sacred power to go to Burning Cernium and beyond, this is going to be a very popular map. It has great spawn density, lots and lots of mobs in this tiny, tiny map. And what is Frenzy like? Tiny maps. This will be a map that a lot of classes will be able to full clear. Now I have a very, very short crash course in playing Cannon Master post fifth job in order to make this video, but the rates for Cannon Master here are surprisingly good. It's like, Cannon Master is one of the better mobbers, you don't usually want to be in the smallest of small maps, but if the rates are this good, just think about classes who love Cerny or who love CLP type maps. Then you've got the City Ramparts too. Personally, I think this might end up being the best map for Cannon Master, it just has a good layout. I need to test the rotations further, but this is an okay map, probably one you want to have a lot of summons like Akana, a Xenon, something in that nature. Otherwise, the map might be a bit too large for people to handle. And speaking of maps being a bit too large to handle, <laughs> City Ramparts 3. <laughs> it's, uh, it's long and it's tall. A deadly combo for, for reg servers with Frenzy and Kishin spawn. It's a very deadly combo. Guess we'll just teleport since it's quite a long walk between these areas. Then from Cernium, you want to just head through this middle platform and you can get over into the library maps. That's also this little portal right here will take you into the boss fight, but Saren isn't enabled right yet, so we'll just pass by that. And then onwards and forwards into even more pop popular training areas. The Royal Library Section 1 is probably going to be the most popular place in the game. <laughs> Until until people start getting the sacred power for for burning cernium because uh, it has insane spawn density. It's nice and small, and uh, 
The mobs are not hard to kill, by any stretch of the imagination. These still being the early areas in Cernium, these mobs have the lowest sacred power requirement. I've seen people one-shotting these with only 10 sacred power at like 40-45k stat for some classes. They're not very hard to get into, but they're going to be very hard to find a map, more than likely. Like, as people complete this quest, this quest line, this map has been filling up more and more. Already you've seen I've had to CC to find an empty channel. And, uh, this is day one. It's a two-hour quest line and people are already flying through this thing just to get to these training areas. Royal Library Section 2 is pretty good. It's slightly larger than the CLP the CLP type of the library section one. However, for a class that has like either really good, really good map control through summons, or a class that has like a good hitbox like Adele's Cleave that can just flash jump along the bottom and have summons and your, your royal decrees kill the top, this map would be a pretty good alternative if library section one fills up. Then you've got library section three. To be honest, <laughs> from all of the, all of the KMS VODs that I've been watching on Twitch for people training in Cernium. This map I've only ever seen one character train here and it's an Ilium. Now the rotation for Ilium might actually work here <laughs> for Frenzied Spawn, but uh, I'll have to wait for an actual Ilium main to get here to see just how hard it is. You need to be one-shotting with just about everything for the rotation to work, but it looked pretty insane and if you can full clear that map on Frenzied Spawn, I don't think there's gonna be anything that comes close to it in terms of EXP rates. For a lot of classes though, that very last library is probably a bit too tall for anyone to realistically train in. Here's a nice place you can just start for us or do any scrolling, just another AFK area. Has a nice BGM to it as well. And then on the right, the Eastern City Ramparts. A little bit more torn on these. They are decent maps, but they don't just, they don't fill all the boxes. Of some of the other ones. City Ramparts one is very good, but this is again, it's gonna be one of the more popular ones. <laughs> so there's gonna be quite the bottleneck on these maps like there is currently for Limina. Everyone is gonna pile into these early Cernium areas. So the super, super good ones are gonna fill up instantly. Mainly what I was looking for is like the good backup maps for when these are full because <laughs> these maps are gonna be full. <laughs> Even while I was just going through these maps for the quest line, people were already just like stopping and training. They didn't even go through the entire quest line, they just started training. <laughs> these small compact maps that work well with Frenzy are going to be insanely full all the time. However, this Eastern City Ramparts 2 is kind of good. You do need some sort of summon. If you can place something on the top, like the bullet bills for Cannon Master or whatnot, and then just flash jump along the bottom, this map is actually really good for EXP rates. Downside for Cannon Master being your uh, Cannon Bazooka, not quite tall enough to hit this platform. Feels, feels Explorer hitboxes, man. But if you're able to clear that, that's really, really good. And then the City Ramparts 3, probably a bit too, a bit too on the tall end. It's quite a chore to get up and clear these mobs, and that those top few platforms hold 5 out of the 44 mobs in this map, so I wouldn't recommend it unless your map or unless your map clear is insane. Maybe like a Luminous could sit at the top of that map and Reflection down, but uh, it's going to be quite a bit of funding before a Luminous is able to dark mode Reflection and one-shot mobs here. For these early areas though, yeah, like all of these small compact maps for Frenzied Spawn are going to be absolutely insane. They're going to be full pretty much 24-7, I imagine, especially with how long of a grind 300 is going to be. Even if people are just going for 285 and stopping there, that's still an insanely long time. And until people build up the sacred power required to go to Burning Cernium, yeah, they're going to be bottlenecked in this area pretty hard. It's gonna be it's gonna be limina all over again, but then if you're 265, you gain access to burning Cernium, the much more menacing BGM version of Cernium. And burning Cernium is very very good. The base EXP difference between Cernium and burning Cernium definitely makes it so that you want to train in burning Cernium if you can. However. Burning Cernium is a lot of small mobs. Like, these are short little duders barely taller than your character model. So again, hitboxes are going to play a very important role in your training comfort here. 
for a class like Adele, Angelic Burster, Luminous, what have you, they're not going to struggle too much with these small hitboxes, but for like an older class like Cannon Master, let's say, Cannon Bazooka <laughs> can easily whiff these mobs if you flash jump at a wrong time. The mob density is insane, the layout is really good, and it suits Frenzied Spawn pretty well, just the, the mobs themselves are a bit too on the small end for me to recommend this as a, as a map for everyone. And then you have Ramparts 2. This is similar to the, the last map with the little burning duders. If you have a skill that can handle these top two and then you just flash jump along the bottom, it's pretty darn good. Now keep in mind with the Cernium and Burning Cernium areas, this is effectively the death of your souls. Like your Lucid Soul is not going to one shot ever again, no matter how strong you get. Lucid Soul is never going to one shot here, so your class needs to have its own innate summon to take care of these platforms. You can't rely on Lucid Soul. She is finally made it to the retirement home once you transition into Cernium and Burning Cernium. Western City Ramparts 3, a bit too big for my liking. A bit too many platforms here on the top for just summons to take care of, like in Ramparts 2. But some classes might be able to make it work. Ramparts 4 is much better much closer to Ramparts 2. If you have summons to take care of this top corner, you're not missing out on too many mobs over here. You've got four on that platform that aren't going to die unless you have a plethora of summons, but if you could just flash jump along the bottom and clear, these maps are pretty darn good. Not the best maps in the area, but they are maps I would recommend because, again, the base EXP difference between these maps and Cernium are large enough that you want to transition here if you're able to. Like, unless your kills per hour are exponentially higher in Cernium, there's no real reason to stay in Cernium if you have the sacred power and the damage to go to these burning Cernium areas. But as I was saying, with Cernium, these burning Cernium areas are going to get bottlenecked real fast. <laughs> Once people start getting the sacred power, these burning Cernium library maps are going to be full all the time. Eastern City Ramparts Battle 1 is again a problem with the mob hitboxes. The map is good, the spawn density is good, the mob hitboxes are microscopic. As well, these areas require 100 sacred power, so it's going to take a while before people even have the sacred power to deal enough damage to one-shot these, even as one of the stronger cannon masters in the game struggling to deal damage to these duders with only 10 sacred power. So it's going to be a little time gated before people start transitioning into these areas, but once they do, the Cernium maps will hopefully ease up a little bit on the bottleneck, but I doubt it'll ease up too much. And then Ramparts Battle 2, more of the same. If you have summons for this top platform, it's pretty good, and then you can just clear along the bottom. Or let's say you're a Luminous, you can just stand in reflection left and right and hope that your bounce range is long enough to tag these small mobs. But these maps are okay. They're not they're not supremely good. They're not supremely bad. The biggest problem I have with them is just the mobs hitboxes themselves. The mobs in Cernium are quite a bit bigger compared to Burning Cernium's walls. So more than likely people will stay there until they can either find a map in the library or find a map in the Burning Library. However, there is one very good map in Burning Cernium, Eastern City Ramparts. That's Battle 4. These duders have good sized hitboxes, the spawn density is jacked as fuck, and it's quite possibly the smallest map in Burning Cernium. So pretty much anyone who likes a CLP type map is gonna love this map. It is dense with spawn, the EXP from these mobs is crazy high, and with Frenzy, the spawn is amazing to boot. Highly recommend this one as an early burning Cernia map. And then you have Battle 5 as well. For anyone who can clear these larger type maps, or for anyone who's training on Kishin or Wild Totem spawn, this is definitely the place early on in Burning Cernium that I would recommend to most people. These mobs have really good sized hitboxes, so pretty much anyone is going to be able to train here comfortably. The Even the worst hitbox classes like the Explorers and some of the Cygnus Knights aren't going to struggle to hit these mobs. They're literal walking tanks. Battle 6 is a bit too big for my liking, even for like Wild Totem or Kishin spawn. I wouldn't really recommend it, it's kind of just too big. And then from there we transition into the Burning Library, and oh boy, <laughs> Hotel Arcus can't come fast enough, boys. This is going to be the bottleneck to end all bottlenecks, to be honest. You can stay here until 290, and a lot of people are going to probably stay here until 290, because these Burning Library maps are pretty pog. 
The spawn density is crazy. The hitboxes on the mobs, again, at least for section 1, are pretty small, but the EXP on these mobs is absolutely insane. These burning library maps are starting to get towards the latter end of mob mob levels for these Cernium and Burning Cernium areas, so these are about the highest level mobs you can get to until Hotel Arcus comes out. So a lot of people are going to gravitate towards these map if they're looking specifically for EXP rates and nothing else. These mobs give the most EXP if you're able to clear the maps, highly recommend them, but some of these maps, like Section 2, a bit too big to be comfortably cleared with Frenzied Spawn. Similar is Section 3. This might work out for Kana's, but again, there are better maps for Kana's. I don't know how, how high I'd recommend this. It seems just overall a bit too tedious with the mob size. Unless you have really good map control and good hitboxes, which is kind of a Kana or a Dell only thing, you're going to struggle to hit all of those mobs. It doesn't feel amazing. Then of course, you've got the library section 4. This map, not the greatest. <laughs> it really isn't. It's nice and small, so Frenzied Spawn is beneficial, but this platform layout is all over the place. Like, this would be tedious to clear, if anything. It's a decent alternative if the first section fills up, but for the most part, wouldn't recommend it. Library section 5, however, is probably where I'd recommend your Wild Totem and your Kishin spawn people to be training at. It's about medium, medium, small, and it has quite a bit more mobs than the other library sections besides like the extremely large ones. So it's quite dense for its size. Again, you just gotta be able to deal with these mob hitboxes and you'll get some pretty juicy EXP. Section six is a map that's borderline good. It's, it's similar to SSS2, I believe, for, for Kishin and Fury Totem spawn. If you can double plat, you just flash jump through and clear these. Say you're in Adele, flash jump, cleave, flash jump, cleave. Jump your way up, just flash jump, cleave back to the right. It has really good rotations, but it's just a tad too large for Frenzied spawn. But, these are just stepping stones to the real endgame. Hotel Arcus is not too far off. So for anyone who's getting to these level ranges 260 and 265, highly recommend start doing your sacred power symbol dailies ASAP. It's going to take a very long time to get these leveled up and you're going to need a lot of them before you can transition to Hotel Arcus. So if you think that Limina bottleneck was bad, oh boy, get ready for the Cernium and Burning Cernium bottleneck for people who are just trying to scrape their way into Hotel Arcus. It's going to be a long one. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you to Graham for letting me use his his very, very strong Cannon Master for this video. As you all know, I don't have any characters that are over level 250, let alone 265 plus to demonstrate these. So he was generous enough to lend me his character to at least give a brief overview and first look at these areas. And I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you guys like Cernium for all of you who are pushing 275 plus Godspeed. For all of you who are actually pushing for 300, seek help. <laughs> but as always, if you have any questions about Cernium, about burning Cernium, about playing Maple Story in general, feel free to ask down below. Make it a point to answer any and all questions I get on my videos because oh boy I love this game. And I love talking about it. And I hope... Cernium and Burning Cernium serve you guys well. See you later.